Hi, we have Mungay Kamara, the uh, star runner here at Watertown High School. The last four weeks, you've constantly knocked your time down at the 300. Mm -hmm. How low can you go in the New Englands? Hopefully, break the state record and maybe go under 34. That's mm -hmm. kind of the goal, but we'll see. Just trying to get out fast. Now, when you when you in a race like last weekend, you broke the state, you broke the meet record. Mm -hmm. Do you know when? Do you know as soon? When do you first know that? Hey, this was a pretty special run. Um, going into it, just I knew I had good competition there. You have to perform. I was seated second, so I knew I was gonna have to give it something at uh, all states. So, does that motivate you in the fact that you know you feel like you're pretty good that you were seated second? Does that give you that extra motivation there? Definitely. Um, I knew O'Brien was fast. Uh, I knew he'd probably beat me to the to the break point. So I knew it's gonna be a race to see who could hold on longer. If I could outkick him. What is it about the 300 that appeals to you? Um, the 200, I'm okay. I got third at All States last year. The 400, I think I'm a little better. I ran 48.15 this season unattached at a, a college meet, so that was pretty good. So I think the 300 is kind of right in the middle, kind of of the speed and the endurance. So you need that good 200, and then you need to be be able to hold on in the end for that last. You've also played, you also played football. How much has football helped you on track? Definitely a lot. Um, the lifting, I think, is probably the biggest aspect that helped me. Um, benching, squatting, snatching, clean. All the I do all the Olympic lifts, stuff like that. But definitely made me faster. And your coach said he ran the 300 in college. Mm -hmm. Who's faster? I think I might have him beat on this one. But are we talking today? <laughs> <laughs> not not anymore, <laughs> but back in his day, he was pretty quick. How much has he helped you? Definitely a lot. Good workouts, um, always pushing me, making me finish the last set, even if I'm throwing up, <laughs> don't want to do it, and just, yeah. All right, Dan Ventura here with Tom Wittenhagen, the head track coach here at Watertown. In your heyday, you ran the 300. Now you've got a kid here, Mungay Kamara, who runs the 300. What, why is he so good in that event? Well, first of all, he's got an immense talent, uh, which uh, God gave him that for sure, which he's blessed with. Uh, he's also incredibly hardworking. He's improved quite a bit from last year. Last year, he got second in the Wimbledon in high school. This year, he's even more improved. So he's uh, worked very, very hard, both uh, in the, in the, as far as running and the track goes, but also in the uh, weight room and lifting and doing the other sorts of things. One thing you've, we've heard about him, he's a star runner, but he's also a great teammate. He so, is. You know, we, we, we've asked him to do an awful lot. He's just a versatile athlete. On our team, he's the best in three or four events. We come to a dual meet that we have a chance to win. We put him in three events, which is a maximum number, and he's managed to come through for us on several occasions this season. Plus relays, we've managed to put him in as many events as we can because he's that, uh, that quality of runner. At the next level, where can you, I mean, you ran at Northeast, and what is his, where do you feel his, his level that he could run? Uh, he's uh, definitely a Division One college runner. Uh, and he should run a similar event. Last year he ran the 200 at Nationals, now he's moved up to the 400. Collegiately he'll run probably the indoors of 400 or 500 meters uh, races.